Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil. When we last left off, uh, we went on a adventure with Sherry, and Sherry managed to find us our final policing, 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 precinct key, uh, and some extra grenade rounds, which was jolly nice of her, to be honest. So, let's get back upstairs. Now, unfortunately, where we need to go now, which is the morgue, and a few other places, there is dogs here now, but we should. Oof, be able to avoid them. Yeah, there's another one there. Fuck you, dog! Ow, you son of a fucking bitch. Just had to have that chunk of arse meat. Couldn't leave us alone. Oh, no, 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 no. You bastard. Yep, liquors are here now. Which is pretty bad news. But, oh, this might go really badly. Why might this go really badly? I do not hear you say. Well, this room is full of enemies. Hmm. But that's okay. Because we've got six bullets. Oh, boy. That made me shit my pants as a lad. It really did. We are going to take the red card. Yep, here we go. Run, run, run. Oh, okay, that's fine. That's fine. Run. Okay, all right. That's fine. That's fine. Um, cool. We did not get killed. Oh. Now, there's a liquor there. We don't have the equipment or weapons or firepower to fight it. Not really. Where is it? Okay, it's not actually down here. It's in that hallway. Which is okay. We can handle that. We're going to creep. Um... So this should actually be the card key for this door. It is. Nice. Let's have a little look inside. This is the armory that we've heard so much about. Oh, God. Bullets. Sweet, precious, delicious, beautiful bullets. Oh. <laughs> bullets. Bullets. Why do I still have the ink ribbons on me? Because I'm an idiot. God damn it, that's why. Alright. Now, sadly, out of all this gear that's here, these are the only useful things. Um, we have some reloads for the bow gun as well, which is nice. Literally just a couple of packs of handgun ammo. And, of course, the main event is right here. There's a machine gun and a side pack. With a side pack, I can carry more items. Um... We don't want either. Um, no. Ah, shit. Okay. So, I guess, like, I might reload this, guys, because I want to leave all of this for Leon. Um, because I want Leon's game to be as easy as possible. And to be honest, Claire doesn't really need this stuff. Admittedly, neither does Leon, but not in this difficulty anyway. Um, shit. That's really annoying. Hmm. Is there really no way you have to pick one or the other? Yeah. Yep, you have to pick one or the other. Oh, no. Ooh, okay. No. No. Nope, Leon can have all of those. Now, technically, uh, Leon, it makes sense to give Leon the side, uh, the machine gun, because he has a lot more shit to fight. And it makes sense to give Claire the uh, side pack, because she has the grenade ammo and all that shit. But, there he is. But we don't really want to bother. Hmm. 
Now, there he is. Do we want to fight this thing? Uh, no. Yeah. Okay. This is gonna hurt. This is really gonna hurt. Um, okay, it didn't hurt as much as I thought. You know, this gun is really not that bad at fighting those guys. It really isn't. It's definitely better than I thought. Okay, so let's repair this. <sighs> let's get these shutters down. Because Leon has to come back through here. Yeah, you really can um, take out those guys, to be honest, with, with this handgun fairly reliably, I guess. You're going to get hit a couple of times. If we had a better camera angle, I might have been able to do that more efficiently, but hey. Hey, if you're a professional run of this game, you don't watch my videos. You watch Carsey's or someone. Nothing in this locker. Are you shitting me? All right. Nothing useful. God damn it. A paper, more than a week old, or bork soup, or whatever he's called. He is really fucking cool. Uh, we've got some grenades. Got some acid rounds, which... Sure, I guess, that's cool. Not that bothered about acid rounds, but, I mean, hey, we might as well have them. Right, Night Watchman's Diary. August 11th. I finally had the chance to see blue skies for the first time in ages, but it did little to lift my spirits. I was reprimanded by the chief for neglecting my duties while I was up on the clock tower. There's only one thing I still don't understand. The chief seems to be more concerned about the fact that I was up on the clock tower rather than uh, the fact that I was neglecting my duties. Why was access to the tower prohibited in the first place anyway? September 5th. I recently talked to the old man who works in the scrapyard out back. His name is Thomas. He's a quiet man and really seems to enjoy chess. He even went so far as to design a special key and lock engraved with chess pieces on them for one of the doors in the disposal yard. Hmm. We made plans to play chess tomorrow night. I can't help but wonder how good he is. One thing that's been bothering me about him is the way he's always scratching himself. Does he have some kind of skin disease or is he just rude? Is it rude to scratch in front of someone? Well, I mean, I guess if you're scratching your fucking John Thomas, that is a bit much. Oh, I actually work with a guy that used to do that all the time. Uh, I mean, the guy was a cunt anyway, but yeah, that was a bit rough. Uh, September 9th. Thomas was a much better player than I had imagined. I used to think myself as a fairly decent player, but he did a pretty good job of humbling me. About the only thing I imagined... Uh, about the only thing that I imagined that could match his skills in chess is his appetite. All the guy did was talk about food throughout the entire game. He sounded fairly healthy, but didn't look quite right. I wonder if he's okay. September 12th. I was supposed to play another game of chess with Thomas, but we had to cancel because he hasn't been feeling too well. He stopped by to see me, but I told him to go back and rest since he literally looked like the walking dead. He insisted that he was just fine. I could tell he was really having problems. Come to think of it. I haven't been feeling too good myself lately. Ooh. Ooh. Now, this is a really cool diary. It, the Watchman's Diary. It's very similar in vibe to... His throat and abdomen have been torn out. Dogs, probably. Yeah, very similar in, in vibe and tone, I guess, to the Keeper Diary from the original game. Really cool stuff. Right, let's get out of it. I did think there was some more goodies in here, but, I mean, I guess not. Uh, right. One second, guys. And we're back. Right, let's go. Yeah, Facebook's going mad at the moment. with loads of messages, so... Trying to mute my phone. Let's go. We have everything we need to proceed. We've just got to go back down to the other area, the cells. No, the interrogation rooms. Um, because we need... Yeah, this place is still good. 
Uh, do we have everything we need on us? Yeah, we still got, okay. Kinda needs to go to an item box, really. Well, do we? Got the precinct key, which is about to be used up. We've got the lighter that we need. Uh, nah, we should be fine. I don't think there's like much to pick up in that area, to be honest. Uh, oh, uh, you know what? Like, we have ink ribbons on us. So we might as well grab these. It's not going to take up any extra slots, so... Why not? When in Rome, do as the Romans do, as they say. Talking of Rome, I actually fired up the old Xbox the other day. Uh, I don't know why I made that sound like that's such a rare event, because it's really not. And I started playing Rise, Son of Rome. And that's not a bad game, actually. One that I've wanted to play for a long time. I mean, it's very samey, but it seems okay. For a launch game, it's not bad. If I had an Xbox One seven years ago when they came out, I would have probably enjoyed that quite a bit. Kind of feels like the Xbox's version of the Order 1866. There we go. That game was... Oh, hang on. I think there's liquors in here. That game was a great showcase of the, the, the hardware, but... Yeah. <sighs> Fuck. Fuck. Ugh. Can we... Sneak past. There's a film there. We're going to have to fight this guy. We really are. Unless. Maybe we're not. Yes, maybe we're not. Right, let's light the furnace. It's already lit. That's what the kids say these days, isn't it? It's totally messed up. It's totally messed up. Uh, I forget the puzzle to this. I think number 11. I think it's number 11. And then we do number 13. And then number 12, I think. Something like that. No, maybe it's... That one. That one. I can't remember this puzzle now. And I can't go read the blurb because there's a liquor there. Yeah. <sighs> That one. Let's try this one on the end. There we go. That liquor is coming around. God damn it. Uh, 12, then 11. And let's try 13. Really? What combination have we done? 12. Do we do this one? Ah, oh, statistically, we should have guessed right by now. Okay, what about if we do... Oh, look at that fucking guy. That is really messed up. To think he was a zombie not that long ago. Shit, right. Let's... Oh! Okay, this guy's not that hard to avoid, to be honest. As long as we're careful. Don't want to get caught out in this corner. Right, we'll have you. Let's go read this thing. A picture of a man in the carriage. Light the queen, the king, and the jack. The carriage will start turning, yeah. Now, I don't know nothing about cards. I don't play cards. I don't like cards. Yep. Saw that happening. Oh, you fuck. Yep. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. I knew that was going to happen. God damn it. I cannot fucking believe I've just died in Resident Evil 2. Oh. Well, that's what happens when you fuck around. Right, so I'll catch you guys back there in a minute. 
Right, and we are back, guys. Let's try that again, shall we? This time with a little bit less failure. I've done a little bit better getting us back up to this point, and I didn't kill the liquor in the base uh, basement. I actually managed to run past the bastard, which was quite nice. Oh, God. Uh, number 11. It's not number 11 first. See, I... Number 12. Let's try 12, 13. 11. Yeah. Didn't we do that before? I thought we tried that combination. Okay, that's fine. Fuck you, liquor. You are really not that important to fight, my friend. You're just a waste of our resources at this point. So, just between me and you... You can go suck a cock. Also, notice how he stopped chasing us. So we actually can run away from this guy. And he gives up. Is he stuck? Yeah, I guess. I oh, know. He's kind of freed himself. I guess he got stuck behind that um, door. which, uh, Well, behind that desk, which is quite funny. Anyway, more ale. More beer over here. So, if this was the B scenario, we'd now be in some serious trouble. Because our friend Mr. X, or as he's more less commonly known, Mr. T00, would be smashing through that wall after we just fought him in the other room. Um, but hey, all is not too bad because he dropped some good stuff for us. Right, fair enough. Let's get out of here. Now, one thing that I am looking forward to, talking about Dreamcast control pads again. Let's go develop these films. Uh, Retrobit. No, 8-Bit Doe. Which is the company that made my um, M30, which I use for my Mega Drive games. Uh, is making a wireless Dreamcast control pad. It looks very much like the original control pad, just with six buttons. And apparently they've made the stick better and all that shit. Um, but they're bringing it out um, at the end of the year, so I'm tempted to buy that that one as well, depending on the price. Thing with that control pad though, it looks a lot like the original Dreamcast controller, just with uh, some refinements. So I'm not sure, to be honest about that. But the idea of having a wireless Dreamcast control pad, mmm, mmm, mmm. I like the sound of that. Right, so if we have that, you know, we might as well reload our bow gun. Uh, there we go. Don't appear, actually, do we, to get much bow gun ammo. It's really good against zombies. But not really that good against anything else, I don't think. So let's drop you back. Um... I guess we'll have the crank as well. We only need the crank. We're going to use that. We don't need to use that again. I don't. Ooh, there might be one area actually where we can use that uh, as an option, but don't really need to use it again. Right, let's get out of here. And let's drink some old crafty hen. Oak aged vintage ale. Mmm. Oh, you can really taste the barrel, man. Mmm. You can almost feel the wood grain of that barrel sliding across your tongue. Oh, it's good. It's good. It's so deep and rich. Almost like a thick tar. Mmm. I could drink that stuff all day. And uh, I actually have drunk that stuff all day. Which usually ends up in a good time. Not so much the next day. Next day, you usually have a little bit of a sore head. But hey. Sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Yeah, I really need a new chair. This chair is uh, killing my back. <sighs> Why are gaming chairs so expensive? I mean, I, I wanted the Corsair. One of the Corsair. They, they did two or three different chairs, and there's one that I wanted. And it was £400 or something. £400 for a 
fucking chair. Unreal. But uh, I actually think they've been massively discounted at the moment. So, right, let's have a look at some of this film. Film A. Ooh, that looks very uh, G virus, doesn't it? Code G, human body experimentation. That looks horrible. So, what else have we got here? Film B. Pictured in front of the Arcus Taylor, regressed into a zombie within two hours. Subject repeatedly complained about severe agitation from the epidermis. In addition to feeling of nausea, this happened up until the moment he lost consciousness. Pictured by R. Lambert. Hmm. Yeah. Not good. Not good at all. Alright, let's actually grab a piece. Shall we? Get the hell out of it. Oh, this, you know, old speckled hen is like one of my favourite ales. And old crafty hen is there like... Like premium reserve version of it, and it's so good. Mm. Mm. <coughs> oh, that bit had bones in it, I think. Right, okay, so uh, I like the fact it's close to Father's Day, so they've changed the label to say Old Crafty Dad. Nice touch, lads. But my dad doesn't drink ale, he just likes his lager, so I don't think he'd be too impressed if I brought him a whole load of craft ale. Right, now what we need to do is go back into the library upstairs. Oh shit, we're going the wrong. Nah, it's fine, we can go this way. This way is fine. I don't think this way takes any longer. And do we have... We don't have everything we need though, do we? Not quite yet, anyway. I've got one more thing to pick up. So we've got the cog, so we can go up into the library. We can lower down um, the stairs, and we can go down the chute. I think there's liquors up here now, which I'm not that excited about. I'm not going to lie. Fuck you, buddy. Fuck you. Luckily, we can outrun liquors. <sighs> you can't really outrun hunters. But you can outrun liquors. Good to know. Run! Fuck you, pal. We don't need to fight you. Yep. Admirable effort. You know, you can spam that all you like. Not really going to help you. Just be glad I haven't got my grenade launcher. So I didn't strap that to your ass. Consider yourself lucky. Ooh. Yep. Hey, friends. Welcome. Welcome to the police station. Make yourselves at home. Though we have a shortage of human flesh for you to feast on at the moment. So, sorry about that. Right, let's go in here. Although, maybe Chief Irons is still around there somewhere. Yep, there is a liquor up here as well. Should we just try running past this guy? Nope, wasn't going to happen, was it? Yeah, they do that horrible screechy sound effect. You know, liquors in this are so pathetic. Um, Hunters kind of held up okay. Uh, it's like going back to Resi 1 all over again. Liquors are a joke. Now, in Resident Evil 2 Remake, oh boy. Liquors are not quite a joke. And one second, guys. Right, let's continue. Yes, 
drinking large quantities of ale has its own issues. Now, uh, seems to be broken and won't work. Well, that's no good, is it? Come on, Claire. There we go. Um, right. You know what would be cool if they could actually do this with a Dreamcast controller? Is they should try and build in a rumble motor. That would be quite cool. So you don't need the jump pack. Now, let's put our cog in. Like so. Looks like there's a switch. Yep, we're going to push the switch. Beautiful. Hmm. So malty. And there is the last piece of the puzzle. Will you take the blue stone? I. And. Come on, Claire. Oh. Can we not jump down? Really? I thought we could jump down the. the shaft. Ah, okay. Fair enough. I really did think we could jump down there. Well, no matter. Let's go this way. So now we can go... Oh, God, we've got this slicker out here, haven't we? We really don't want to fight him if we don't have to. I mean, don't get me wrong... Like, it's fun to fight these guys, but it really is also unnecessary. They're just a huge waste of ammo. They really are. And as they're all going to get vaporized in this massive, like, nuclear firestorm that's coming, we don't have to worry about it. I mean, it's just not our problem, you know? Uh, right. God, you know, I'm still getting used to the fact that this is 60 FPS. It's so fast. It's so smooth. I would love to play this on PC in like 120 FPS or 144. Why were these games never brought to Steam? Like, yeah, I know we got the remakes, okay? I know we got the remakes. And there's a lot of younger players that just say, well, Resident Evil Remake 2 and 3 are on Steam. You don't need to release the old ones. Uh, yeah, you do. Yes, and Code Veronica. The older games... <laughs> fuck you. The older games have their place. Absolutely have their place. Um, they are so different from the remakes that they're still worth playing. It's not like, for instance, say, Spyro. You know, where the remakes of Spyro are absolutely superior to the originals in every single way there's no reason to go back and play the old games there really isn't right but with resident evil 1 2 and 3 the originals still are absolutely worth playing in their own merit because they still are really good are the remakes in my opinion better than the originals <sighs> no even remake 1 I wouldn't say is better per se than the original um, I mean maybe yeah it's probably a better game but the original is still very 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 good they're still absolutely worth playing uh, I wouldn't say the remakes are better like remake 1 and remake th uh, remake 2 and remake 3 um, they're not straight up better and we're out of time. Holy shit. I would say Remake 2 and 3 are very, very different games. Um, and to that end, they're all worth playing. That's the thing. Like, I could never want the original Crashes or the original Spyros. This is just an example on Steam because you've got the remakes. There's no point. But with these, they're so different. They really should have brought out like a... A triple pack. Make them work with the old machines. Make them moddable so we can do all of the um, arranged games uh, and things. Ah, oh, Capcom. But then I could just go on another rant about uh, Konami and Silent Hill. 
because I have booze in me now and I'm feeling ranty <laughs> about the mistakes of these silly companies. But uh, I shall spare you this uh, this rant this time. So, thanks for watching, guys. When we come back, well, we're going to go uh, poke our head through the uh, through the strange tablet door. So, till then, guys. Thanks for watching.